sad, disappointed, angry, hangry, all the emotions. Our plate of disappointment is here. It's okay, I can be salty enough for the chips. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and today we're gonna have some jolly good fish and chips. So a little story time before we get started. So I was in the UK for around one and a half years and during my time there I've had a lot of fish and chips ranging from high-end to street food to chippy shops and fish and chips in our country is very different from the fish and chips in UK and there are some characteristics to an authentic fish and chips first it's the batter needs to be crispy the fish is not very seasoned it just seasoned with some salt and a pepper and the fries the fries are not french fries they're hand cut thick fries and they're not crispy they're soggy it's just the way I like it and it's usually served with like lemon and vinegar I used to have my fish and chips with vinegar and it was just a game changer and you also have a side of peas it's either mushy or just regular peas which I think is a must for fish and chips I know we won't be getting peas here because we don't really have the culture of having peas with our fish and chips here but the thing that I'm gonna be looking for is crispy flavorful fish but not too spiced up and thick soggy fries. So to fulfill my cravings for some good fish and chips, I've picked out two places. The first one is a very popular good old Manhattan and the second one is probably a bit unknown and I'm gonna take you guys there so stay tuned. So I'm here in Manhattan after what feels like ages because I used to visit during my university time when they used to have these lunch deals going on which were like a bargain and a steal and they have a new deal going on which is why I'm here. So this is their deal. Fish mate celebration. You get fish and chips and calamari or fish and chips and chicken tenders for 400 and 49 because um, if you look at the regular menu it might be quite expensive and you probably won't be coming here regularly and they have a good habit of offering these deals so you might just keep a lookout on their page and visit when they're having these deals so I'm gonna be taking their fish and chips with chicken tenders and a lemon iced tea and he's gonna be taking the fish and chips with the calamari and again lemon iced tea we also wanted their seafood chowder but they don't have it too so we have the biggest disappointment in the history of mankind. I came here for fish and chips. Guess what? They don't have chips. So they're having fish with mashed potatoes and rice. How do you run out of potatoes, man? Like how? I'm going to go to the bathroom. Sad. Disappointed. Angry. Hangry. All the emotions. Our plate of disappointment is here. So we have our... Fish, mashed potatoes, calamari, rice, and two sauce. I guess they don't have lemons as well with the chips. It's okay, I can be salty enough for the chips. Fish. So this is our fish. The fish looks good. Yeah, it's crispy as well. Like, I don't know if you heard the crisp while cutting it. It was crispy. Well. is very flavorful, crispy, the batter is nice and I really like the flavor of the fish but it's gonna need lemon and we just asked for lemon. Just a squeeze of lemon on top and it's a start. I'm missing, I'm missing my chips but I guess the mash has to do it. It's a good mash but I would prefer chips with my fish. One thing I really love about Manhattan is the sauces they provide. I like the honey mustard. I like this one more. It's more up my alley. Is the calamari. Chewy, crunchy goodness. Our lemons here. Let's try it with the lemon. The lemon takes it up a notch. Final conclusion, it's a good deal for the meal, but I'm definitely missing my chips. Because the fish is pretty nice, like the batter is nice, it's crispy, flavorful, but where are my chips at, y'all? That's what I came here for. So we just finished devouring our meals. And all in all, it was a good deal, but again, chips was something to be desired for. Maybe better luck next time. The fish was good though. The fish was really good. So on to our next stop. 
The next place I'm going to be taking you guys is a small little hole in the place, a cute little place that I randomly found while I was walking in Bonani Agaron. While I was walking in Bonani Agaron number, and they do fish and chips, and their name is a Jolly Rogers, and we're going to be trying some fish and chips from them because just look at the place. You'll know why I want to try their fish and chips. Just look at it. So they have their menu stuck to their window and it's like very straightforward. You have fish and chips, you have prawn tempura, fries, lemonade, soft drinks. So we have two options. So we, <laughs> so we have two options, light and regular. So the light is like a half fillet and the regular one is like the full fillet. So we're going with the light because we just yeah. had a meal. I'm a little optimistic about this place because I don't know, it's just the vibe I'm getting, you know, like they are a small shop. They're gonna put more love, more effort into their fish and chips. And I might be chips. completely wrong. Yeah. I might be completely wrong. Who knows? And hopefully we're gonna get chips and not mashed potatoes. So we have our half fillet fish and chips from Jolly Rogers right here. And I don't know how this is half because this is pretty big. This is the light one. You have the regular one. This is like 250. Yeah, 250. That's, yeah, we have lemon. I think this is tartar sauce, ketchup, and we do not have thick cut fries, but it's French fries. But hey, we got fries. I'm gonna squeeze the lemon on top of the. Fish. Flaky white fish. Might not be as crispy as the ones in Manhattan, but the fish and chips in UK is actually not that crispy. It's actually like a light batter, like this fish, if you can see. Like it's crispy, but it's not over battered, if you know what I mean. No, it's actually pretty nice. This does remind me of the UK fish and chips. I I like it. I actually like it more than the Manhattan for some reason. Like I mean, this costs half of what the ones in Manhattan did. It tastes just as good, if not better. And it's bigger. It's like significantly bigger. Fish. You can see the salt and pepper. It's nicely seasoned. Like that's how it should be. A proper fish and chips should be lightly seasoned with like, a light batter. So it, it's yeah. still crispy, but it's not like you're not just eating half batter. They're apparently working on a bigger restaurant and they're gonna do like authentic, like even more authentic fish and chips. Like they're gonna do uh, hand cut hand. chips and, and peas. peas and so we're really excited for malt vinegar. They're also gonna include malt vinegar in their seasoning menu. Yeah, we were talking to the owner, owner and he has big plans for Jolly Rogers. And I'm gonna go f again for the fish because it tastes really great. So this not might appease a lot of Bengali palates in terms of seasoning and crispiness because the one in Manhattan was more seasoned and crispier but this is more authentic to the fish and chips we've had in UK and yeah I prefer this over Manhattan and it's cheap really cheap so if you're in Bonani do give Jolly Rogers uh, jolly high, a jolly <laughs> Do give Jolly Rogers a jolly high and try their fish and chips. They also have a prawn tempura and other stuff you can try. And we're hoping we get to see them bigger and jollier. And proper chips and and proper chips with peas. So this was me trying fish and chips from two different places. I know a lot of other places do fish and chips as well, but those are not dedicated to just seafood, I think. But I heard the one in Bistro E, the fish and chips in Bistro E in a uh, secret recipe is good as well. So we might give that a shot as well. So you might be seeing an episode two of me trying fish and chips. But it was a good run, good tasting, but I prefer the fish from Jolly Rogers more than the one from Manhattan. Because again, it's more authentic. Not everyone might like it. So do keep that in mind if you ever decide to try Jolly Rogers. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. March alert.